Hey y'all, today is Monday. I just came back from Walmart. I picked up a couple groceries. Y'all know my saga with Walmart. And once again, I have a story to tell y'all. But while I do that, I'm gonna kinda eat all my little cheap lace spicy sandwich I got. So I go to Walmart, pick up a couple groceries. My daughter asked me to get some groceries or pick up some things that, you know, she wanted or needed or whatever. So I was like, yeah, I'll go. After I do what I gotta do, I'll go. So okay, I proceed to go to Walmart. I get this stuff. I'm already looking at the prices because the things were kind of expensive. I hadn't been to Walmart in a while. I hadn't even got groceries in a while. But so I go make my little round, do what I got to do. So I noticed that there were a lot of cashiers standing around. So I'm just looking like what's going on. Are they having a meeting? They weren't having a meeting. They wasn't doing anything. They were just there once again. So I proceed to go to the um to go check out. So I'm looking like something looks different. And I'm like, what's what, what's going on? So I'm, I'm thinking this to myself, not saying that out loud, but I just look and it kind of looked in the area, it looks cleaner and neater where the cashiers be. It just looks cleaner. And I noticed they kind of did it like in this box area, like the neighborhood Walmarts. If you know you have a neighborhood Walmart in your area. And then you know it's kind of set up where you just follow the line you go so i'm noticing that's what this one look like and mind you i'm in a super walmart so i'm just looking around like oh, okay so i'm looking for the lights to be on because i don't like checking myself out i don't want to do this so i'm looking for the lights i don't see no um checkout lines where the you know the where the people are i don't see those lines i just see all self checkouts and there's like 20 self checkouts and maybe five registers but none of the registers was open that i was looking for so i'm like wait a minute what what's going on so i just look okay i guess i gotta check myself out because i'm walking check myself out i'm looking at everybody trying to tell me where i should be going and i'm thinking to myself i don't need y'all to be telling me where to go i need y'all to tell me if y'all gonna check me out or not because obviously there's 20 other lines that's already open. Self checkout lines that's open. I can go to any one of those and check out. So I proceed to start checking my stuff out. I hear something in my ear. Y'all, I thought it was God talking to me. So I just happened to look. There's this sales associate whispering in my ear. And I looked at her and I was like, Can you give me 50 feet? Literally, I said, Can you give me 50 feet and still back? And then she had the nerve to pull her mask down. I said, Ma'am. I need you to stand over there. I said, because I ain't even calling nobody to come over here. So she was like, oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me, excuse me. And then she proceeded to whisper what she was standing like over here. She was over here. And I'm here instead of checking out. She whispered to me, do you mind when you finish your transaction? Can you give me a five-star rating? Man, why would I give you a five-star rating? Why would I do that? What have you done to warrant a five-star rating? I checked myself out. I picked up my groceries. I put them in the cart. I pushed the cart, pushed my cart to the line, proceeded to, to tell myself, oh, I got to check myself out because nobody was telling me what I was supposed to be doing. Nobody was calling me over like Target Associates was calling you over. Like, oh, I'll check you out. So I, I, just, I just came to the conclusion I had to check myself out. So why I want to give you five stars? Why would I do that? I said, ma'am, why would I give you five stars? That doesn't even make any sense to me. So in conclusion... We got to check ourselves out, plus give them a five-star rating because they ain't doing nothing. I would not. So, that's my little rant before I show you the grocery haul, but I'm going to finish eating my chicken sandwich, and then I'll show you what I picked up. Okay, you guys. Here we are sitting on my kitchen floor with the groceries. I'm going to try to do a very, very quick haul because, yeah. So, I did pick up some Lando Lakes unsalted butter. I also picked up some lettuce. We're going to make some salad. Can y'all see this? Some salads. Then I also picked up, if I switch hands, some potatoes. Let me very quick, quick. These are chicken thighs in this bag. I don't want to take those out. Those are chicken thighs. You can see through the bag here. We have hamburger meat. We have a pot roast. And then some spare ribs or baby back ribs in that bag. And here I just have some. Y'all, don't kill me. I'm tired, for real. This is our butter croissants. I plan on making some chicken salad. So, we're going to put, you know, chicken salads on the croissants. And then, 
I got these, um, what are these called? Sub rolls because, did y'all know Chick-fil-A, not Chick-fil-A, Subway, they sandwiches are high now for one sandwich, almost like $17, $18. So I was like, no ma'am, I've been craving Subway. So I went ahead and bought these sub, um, sub rolls to make some sandwiches with that. And then in this bag, I just have two things of eggs, some bananas, an onion. And then in this bag, I just got like three little packs of noodles, some sour cream. We love sour cream over here. And then I got some baby tomatoes and some spring mix. Um, my daughter like this type of salad, so I got that. Then I have some orange chicken. I love this orange chicken. I do have some uh, fried rice in the freezer. So one day this week, we'll probably eat this. And this is the brand Innovision. I got this. And then I picked up my daughter out so she wanted some Lunchables to take to work. Ham and cheese and pizza with pepperoni. And then I did pick up the meat for my subs. This is the Black Forest Ham. This is the Great Value brand. And then I got the Oscar Mayer Rotisserie Seasoned Chicken Breast. Deli Fresh. And in this bag, I picked up some... Um, thick chops and these were marked down to five dollars they do say freeze by the eight so i'm gonna uh, go ahead and put those in the freezer and then i picked up another one that was reduced to 375 here so these are pretty thick i was planning on putting these maybe for labor day on the grill with the um baby back ribs and then in this way i have some red lobster cheddar bay biscuits yeah i know their biscuits are good. Then I just picked up a lasagna because I wanted the lasagna, but I didn't feel like making one. So I said, let me just go ahead and get the, the best candies after that I like. This is the one with um, tomato sauce and real mozzarella cheese. I don't like the one that comes with uh, ricotta cheese. I hate ricotta cheese, but it's some of the nastiest cheese. And then I picked up some more um, things that my daughter could take to work for her, work, take to work with her. And these are the hickory ham, cheddar, croissant. And then they also say now you could try these in the air fryer. And if y'all know me, I have an air fryer and I love, love cooking in that. Picked up my daughter and my husband some fish. I don't eat fish or no type of seafood. I picked them up some tilapia because I know my daughter eat these. I don't know if my husband will. I know he likes catfish, but hey, if I could eat, they gonna eat it. So I got this for them. Then I also picked up this center cut Oscar Mayer bacon. Bacon is expensive. I was going to get the Walmart brand and Walmart bacon was like $9.50 something. And it was a smaller size. I said I might as well get this one because this one's like $9.74. So I picked up this. I also picked up some crinkle cut fries. And I picked up some country crock butter. And... Y'all yeah, probably seen this in my vlog before. I hadn't picked it up since then, but this is the voila avocado, not avocado, Alfredo chicken. And I always get um, some more chicken pieces to go in here because there's never enough chicken to go in here. And this is the value size. So if I want to eat a couple, I can just put out like you know, a little handful for myself. And then over here, I got some great value buttermilk waffles. I think that's all in that bag. And then I picked up some sweet potatoes or yams some apples for my daughter and she likes the honey crisp brand and then i picked up some peaches y'all don't think i had peaches all summer so i hope these are good i just picked up three of those i did pick up two avocados for some guacamole i picked up some a red onion for some salsa i think i'm gonna make a cucumber and then another lonely sweet potato back there so yes, y'all, this is my little sitting on the floor quick grocery haul. I'll probably pick you guys back up later on today, hopefully, but yes. So 